Peepaw and I have come to the Percival's Island natural area. Have got new rad mini two step throughs. And I will drop the what three words for this location so that you guys can accurately find where we went out on this trail. Why don't you come along with Peepaw and I and see what we see on the Riverwalk Trail. And you can see it's paved and it goes right along the James River, which we'll be showing you some more of that. Looks pretty good. love signs. They're all over Virginia. One of the things I really like is that you can use the throttle to get started really easily. Thank you. Is, she, is the paint still that? Whoa, sorry. Navigating, sorry. So this trail starts off where you go over a railroad bridge. And that's the James River that we're crossing over. Hopefully you're seeing some of that. And then we're going over to Percival's Island. right on the Riverwalk area of Lynchburg, Virginia. It's a heavily used trail. I don't know if you can tell, but right now, I am using this at Pedal Assist 1 which feels to me about being in uh, like second or third gear on a regular uh, road bike with you know at least 10 speeds with me having knee issues too this is a great option for Especially in Virginia, just being out and biking in general, that's not on a mostly flat surface. And I am pedaling the entire time, so. So right now, doing it pedal assist one, it says it's using 0.5. 32 watts and I started out with um, four bars I still have four bars but I had four bars on my battery so we'll look and see how much I use this is an out and back trail Good old James. That's the one we did the P 
treasure hunt and uh, found the glass, the river glass. Some people have got some locks on the bridge. Love locks. We left a love lock over in Paris right before they made everybody stop doing it. That was kind of fun, actually. So you gotta stay on the trail after you come across here, like that sign said, because it's all privately owned. Uh, but it goes like for another two miles, I think. Brakes about to drive me crazy. fun yeah. I just got to get this brake fixed it makes me feel like I'm wheezing oh because your brake because <laughs> your brake is making noise yeah that brake right there I we guess don't know I don't know if they can see it or not but that brake right there when it was shipped the there was a hole in the box where something had banged against it Well, I'm just telling you, if you have knee problems, you can appreciate what I'm going to say next. How hard it is if you are a short person trying to start off up on a bike when you can't stand up to pedal. And I have only used this throttle so far to where I get like my foot up off the ground and I do the pedal assist. And... Uh, Traveling with Delaney's had said this, and um, she has uh, knee issues too, and it's made me feel a lot more steady and confident about riding a bike. So if you have any kind of concerns like that, um, you know, this is worth a consideration for you. Look at the river. Isn't that pretty? Now we're going back the other way. Going back... I guess probably west, mainly west. It, you can see how wide it is right here. Not a super deep river though. Not deep enough for things like barges and stuff like that. And that's how come way back in the colonial days that they used those flat bottom bateaus here all the time. And they actually have a uh, bateau festival where they have um, recreated the recreated bateaus and people take a trip that's, I don't know, I think it's like almost a week. Or Lynchburg to Richmond, I think is how it goes. Train tracks are right over there. I don't 
see it though through the trees. You can only hear it. There's a cool biking sign there. Ooh, yeah, it's cool. 5.8 miles. I'm going to go down to that end and back. Yeah, so I get to six miles. miles. One more loop. I'm going to run this back up there a little bit back once I adjust it. Okay. I'm not. 